بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Greet you all with the greeting of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh With the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all uh, I'd like to welcome you for a new question From the book 200 Q&A in Aqeedah by Sheikh uh, Hafiz ibn Ahmad al-Hakami May Allah send mercy in his soul And this is question Number 182 uh, What is the ruling concerning a person who believes or trusts the word of a fortune teller? Uh, the answer, the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah An-Naml قُلْ لَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ الْغَيْبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ None knows the unseen in the heaven or in the earth other than Allah. Also Allah is seen in Surah Al-An'am, verse number 59, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُ Allah possesses all the keys to the unseen, no one know it other than Him. And Allah is seen in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 216, وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ And Allah knows and you know not. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated in hadith uh, which in the collection of Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi مَنْ أَتَى عَرَّافًا أَوْ كَاهِنًا فَصَدَّقَهُ بِمَا يَقُولْ فَتَتْكَفَرَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ صلى الله عليه وسلم Whosoever goes to a fortune teller, uh, palm reader, uh, those people who claim to know the unseen, and he believes in what he tells him, that means he trusts the information that he gave him, indeed he had disbelief in what been revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In another narration, Man Atta Arrafan. فَسَأَلَهُ عَنْ شَيْءٍ فَصَدَّقَهُ لَمْ تُقْبَلْ لَهُ صَلَاءَ أَرْبَعِينَ يَوْمًا Whosoever go to a fortune teller to ask him about something, Allah is not going to be accepting his prayer for 40 days. For 40 days. So we see the seriousness of going to a fortune teller or those people who uh, claim to know the unseen that will tell you about what's going to happen to you. No one knows what's going to happen to you or to anything other than Allah. The future is something only possessed by Allah. And doing this, this is haram, is a big major sin in Islam to go to a fortune teller. And those people who believe them, they had the deny and disbelief in what revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah subhanahu wa taala protect us from all this evil doing, things which is displeasing to Allah, and things which He can throw us in hellfire. And akhir da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. جزاكم الله خيرا فور لسنينج السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته